so 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 hot so we'll wait a little bit for some people to join oh my goodness there we are soon it's a nice day honestly it is, i think but it's, it's about to rain i think if i had on some different clothes i'd be comfortable if you was just a little more yeah <laughs> yeah and then yeah it's just just, just a little warm so I have Emerald Sparks here. Hello. Right, let me get a little bit closer because this mic. Oh, yeah. All right, that'll be better. Anyway, so I have Emerald Sparks here. She is Emerald Sparks of Emerald Sparks Ltd., which is a financial <laughs> coaching business. I'm a financial strategist. Listen, and I'm an author. I got a book. Mm -hmm. It is called Vision Future Reality: How to Budget Like a Boss. Mm -hmm. And it's available on my website, which is caramelsparks.com. Mm -hmm. And how to get and keep those coins. Keep your coins. Keep okay. your coins. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, um, there, I'm actually, this is, this is perfect because <laughs> I'm going through this process of buying a home. Oh, beautiful. And... Did, did you let them know how much you can afford or did they tell you how much you can oh, afford? Oh, they told me how much I can afford, but I said, this is what I want my payment to be. Right, so that's so why this is where they probably said you is a little high. Yeah. That's why you need to bring I it back say, down. I want to say, no, I want to be comfortable. Exactly. I want to be, I don't want my house, I don't want to be living exactly. just to pay bills. So, exactly. um, tell me how important it is to build your credit. Because that was one of the main things I've heard. So many different stories. Um, one of the big things that Su Susie Orman, Susie Orman, she talks about is, uh, you know, put your children on your credit cards as authorized users. Right. To build their credit. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. But guess what? When you go to buy a house, it goes against their debt to income ratio. It does. So, but the, you should only put your child on your credit card if your credit is good. Yeah. But even, even if your credit is good. I mean, like, they, it shouldn't be a card that's not paid off every month either. Gotcha. That's what that's what the trick is. Like, it should not be a card that carries a high balance. Well, it's a card with a high limit. Okay. So the balance is still kind of maybe a fifty percent. Oh, that's which high. is still high. That's high. That's still high. But I went through this. And then you can't take it off. You can. You can. You can be. A, but guess you can what? Take, yourself. I'm 35 years old. I'm taking off 37 years. <laughs> of, credit, credit of, of credit history. No, I know. I'm sorry. I'm only 34. Oh no! How old am I? <laughs> Get her. Get her. Okay. Okay. I'm 34. She's 34. I'll be 35 next year. Next year. I was born in '83. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, but I was like, it the. The bank, okay. the lender, they said, don't take it off right now okay. because that erases some of your credit it history. Will, it will. Because it's been paid on time for the last 37 years. Okay, so why you want, because you said that the income. Pay. Okay. So they, they, they get being you. funny about it? Like no, they not, don't not, want to give you the loan? No, no. no okay. No, because what I did was I paid all my other cards off. Good. good. There you go. Okay. So we know how to work the system. Work it. How important is it to. Invest in a 401k. It's very important in our generation because we don't, there's not a lot of companies out there that have a pension. Old school is you get 10%, uh, you're guaranteed your highest three, average or your highest three years, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. We don't have that anymore. We have a 401k. So it is extremely important to invest in a 401k because that's what you're about to live off of. Right. And you have to also think when you're living now, Cool, you maybe have less, you know, medical expenses, but when you get old, you gotta take some medication if you ain't lived right. Mm. Um, so medical expenses, higher insurance up, premiums, insurance premiums, and you don't have the employer sponsored plan you anymore. You don't have that plan. They don't care if you gotta get a prescription every month, especially with the government. They really don't care. So you gonna have to budget for that, and budget. that's the only money that you are going to have to live off when you can't work anymore. So keep those coins. It's all about keeping the coin. And making your money work for you. Make, making it do what you want it to Yes. Do. And if you have an employee an employee stock purchase plan. Get in it. Participate. Why not? That's free money you're leaving on the table. It's free money. Also, when you're, when the company matches what you contribute to your 401k. Yes. Company, that's free money you're leaving on the table Free as money. Well. Free money. I think mine matches up to 
six percent you of need to your be contributing six percent. Thank you. So at I least. contribute at least six percent. At least. And, and every year you get a raise, you need to increase your contribution. Increase your contribution, your yes. And it's account. set to increase by, I think, like 1% each good, year. Good, I was going to say by 1%. Yep. It's, the, it's the benchmark. I'm it's good. on it. Okay. I'm on it. I've been, I've been doing my homework. Get, get like her. Okay. Listen, and I buy one stock a pay period. Do you? I do. One share. One share. What, what do you use to buy the stocks? Uh, it's directly taken out of my check. Okay, so you use that. Okay. Yeah, so they have the employee employee sponsored plan, which you get a fifteen percent discount, oh, which is free. Mo- oh, Thank you. you. It's free money. This is beautiful. Free life. money. I don't even. What, and when I started I here, listen. You got no, it. no, because <laughs> like people need to know this stuff. They, they they're afraid because you know, oh, it's gonna take out this amount of money out of my check, and you know, you can really not. What do you what do you need eighty dollars? Eighty dollars. Not even that. You will get old. There will be a time where you cannot go to work right. and earn a paycheck. So you trying to live life now. Social Security ain't gonna secure the bag, boo. It's not gonna mm. do it. Mm. You cannot live. It wasn't made for you to live off Social Listen. Security. And when I started, I'm sorry. I gotta keep saying this because <laughs> because the, the Lord is still. When I started. Their stock was at like sixty-eight dollars. Okay, that's not bad because Nike's is at like fifty-seven. Listen, it's at like one hundred and two now. Oh, okay. you see that appreciation she got? She was sleep. She made some money. Made okay. some money. So, if you all need some financial coaching, some literacy information about how to keep and build those coins, how to, I don't know, obtain wealth maybe through investments, stocks, investment, stocks real estate, all real estate. Stuff. Contact Emerald Sparks. Please do. Where can they find you? I'm on Facebook as Emerald Sparks. I'm on Instagram as She's a Gem. That's S H Z A G E M. And you can send me an email. It's Emerald at EmeraldSparks.com. And I'm sure her book's there. It is. Buy the book. Buy the book. Buy the book. All right, guys. We'll be back a little bit later. Okay. So, we are live, and I have Sylvia Brownlee of Pure Beauty Bar. Hi. She is an esthetician. Yes. And what else do you do? In the beauty field? Yeah. Um, so, I have home of the $50 sewing. Yes. I sell extensions. Hold on. Let's oh. stop there. <laughs> Don't call me. $50. <laughs> $50. Starting at $50. Started at fifty dollars, but don't call me. Call her fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and it's a really nice, beautiful salon. Thank you. Um, and then she has a private area where mm-hmm. she does facials and waxing. waxing. Yep. So um, Tiffany and I have just been talking, and we're we are. We are she has accepted the challenge, accepted the skincare the challenge. challenge. Oh boy. It's going to be for twelve weeks. So we're going to do befores and afters. Can so, I put my makeup on when I do my before? No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> she knows better. So we'll do a before. Mm-hmm. And then you guys will be pleasantly surprised after. Uh-huh. So, even though she's beautiful, we're just going to embrace her beauty and bring it out a little bit more. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I had some spots. You can see them here. They were not going away. And then I'm still getting my little breakouts. But so we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna we're gonna work on that. We're gonna do some chemical peels, dermaplaning, a few other things, and we're gonna make her her glow. Make me glow. Mm-hmm. Have a natural glow. Yeah, all of this highlight. Right, but the <laughs> highlight looks good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the highlight, but the key is making sure your skin looks great underneath. Underneath. First. Yes. Hi. Okay. So, and I've actually had the derma planing before. Yep. Mm-hmm. It makes your skin feel like newborn baby bottom. I mean, it's that smooth and soft and gets all of the. Tell us about like what actually what what it is. What is so? It it's basically removing all the tiny little using fine what? hairs using a small, very small, <laughs> gentle blade. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't hurt. It, doesn't. it just looks a little painful, but it's not at all. I actually did it to myself today before I came down. No, that's nice. <laughs> But um, yes, it is. It just allows the penetra- the product to penetrate deeper into the skin. So right. we do the dermaplaning first, and then we do the chemical peel after, right. so that the product penetrates deeper into the skin. Cool. So tell tell me more about the challenge. I accepted the challenge before I even knew anything. Yep. I know I have to take before pictures. What else do I need to do? 
So, um, basically, you just have to follow the routine. What is that? that? I give you. Oh, God. Well, as you know, we've had a consultation. <laughs> yes. So, um, you're going to be avoiding dairy. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah, but. Like, can I have it? coconut milk, almond yeah, milk? Okay. Yeah. As long as you don't have, like dairy, like regular milk is not okay. Can I have goat milk. cheese and not cow cheese? <sighs> I'm sorry. I love cream cheese and I love yogurt more than you love your skin being clear <laughs> that's a hard one yeah so which one i mean it's only for a little while and you're going to keep a food diary so that you can okay. see what's happening with your skin and when you are having a reaction so if you do cheat and you know I you know. ate goat cheese you'll be able to see no more goat cheese problem. gotcha yep so um once you do that you'll notice a big difference and then you'll be more conscious of what you're eating yeah so that's the key Yes. Um, and then also we're going to, of course, take pictures throughout mm -hmm. and then we'll be switching up the routine as far as your home care. So home care is super important. Right. And then also while you're doing this, the one thing you must have to agree to is wearing sunscreen. I've been doing that every okay. day. The CeraVe, yep. CeraVe. At least 50%. Well, I think it's 50. Okay. The Perfect. one, yeah, it's yep. a 50. I had it on today. Terrence was like, um, this was before I put my makeup on. Right. He's like, um, you, have, you look white. Mm-hmm. Every now and then, I think it's maybe when my skin is maybe too dry. Yep, it, and it'll it's look like white. just start catchy. So sometimes too, if it's too white, that means you might have a little too much. Mm -hmm. um, so just make sure you just rub it in really good. Mm -hmm. And then once you, they see you in those twelve weeks, your skin's gonna be like they're gonna be like, who did your skin? Yeah, pure beauty bar. Yeah. So tell people, can other people join the challenge? Yeah, absolutely. maybe you should create a hashtag. A hashtag. Let's go. Hashtag. Let's skincare go. Skincare challenge. Pure. That pure be beauty wrong. bar. No. Pure beauty bar. PBB skin challenge. How about that? Twenty seventeen. PBB skin challenge. Twenty seventeen. Somebody put that down here. Pure beauty. Oh, excuse me. PBB. Yep. Skin, skin challenge. challenge Twenty seventeen. Yep. Ooh. All right. You All guys right. need to join the challenge. Where can they uh, book? A facial so they can or book waxing. online www.purebeautybarsensi.com and ladies don't forget it is pool time so the Brazilian wax needs to happen oh uh, yeah yeah it's key I really don't want to see you guys in your swimsuits <gasps> with things hanging outside of it <laughs> I get love. we don't want to see spiders no okay. no all spiders right. All Brazilian right, well, wax well, Sylvia, as always, it was a pleasure yeah, talking well, to you. Thank you for having me. Glad I got to share you with some people. Yes. You all, go talk to Sylvia for your skincare and your sew-ins. And if I don't have hair, that's another thing. Let's talk about this. Okay. <laughs> so, you all know I have a hair extension company. Yep. And so does Sylvia. Guess what? We work together. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. if I don't have something, we, we collaborate. Yep. So... You know, don't be distracted thinking, you know, the market is oversaturated. Get you some people that is in the same market with you. They can help you out when you're in need and, and you can help them out when they're in need. Absolutely. It's a good, good, a collab. good collaboration right here. Mm. And if people ask me if they can get a sew in, call her. Because <laughs> I, I don't got time. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back on just a little bit later with more interviews. Don't forget PBB Skin Challenge PBB 2017. Skin Challenge 2017. There we go. Ah! Thank you. Yes. Huh? All right. Uh, Yvette Simpson, Councilwoman yes. Yvette Simpson. Yes, Councilwoman Yvette Simpson. But also Simpson. candidate for mayor of Cincinnati. That's right. So, 717, cast your vote. Yes, and I'm excited for you. Thank you. This is an awesome time in the history of Cincinnati. It is. We've never had a black woman or woman of color be mayor of the city in 228 so, years. You are breaking history. We are working to break history. No, yes. no. We are breaking history. We are breaking history. Declare that thing. Yes, yeah, so we are here at the Girl Talk event. Uh, at Blush Event Loft. Yes. And Miss Simpson just got finished speaking. And she gave us some key points. Yes. Earn it and own it. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Name it and claim it first. Name it and claim it. Earn it and own it. Earn it and own it. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's all about the fact that in my observation and working with women leaders, you see some themes, right? And mm -hmm. for women of color, it's the same. And sometimes a, a little bit more exaggerated. One, we don't name the things that we want to we want to see happen mm -hmm. in our life, but we certainly don't claim it, mm -hmm. right? I want to be the mayor of city of Cincinnati. I want to be the first doctor in this practice. I want to own my own business. Yes. I want to invent the cure for cancer. 
these are things that we just have to name. You mm-hmm. have to put it out there. You have to say to the universe, this is something that I'm going to do. Yes. And once you do that, I believe, and this is Marianne Williamson's quote, who is an amazing woman author. Mm-hmm. She says, the universe will conspire to make it come to pass. Wow. All you have to do is say it, and the universe will work it out for you. It will work things around you to make it happen. Wow. And then we have to claim that thing. It belongs to us. We have to say that thing. Mm-hmm. And once we put it in the universe and we claim it, the next thing we have to do is earn, earn it and own it. Own it right? So the earning is the work that we do, the toiling that we do, the laying out of plans, mm-hmm. the doing the work. And we're really usually good at that. Right. We just have to make sure we do that with our dream work as much as we do it with our day work. Right. right. So you'll give and clock hours all day to earn a paycheck. When it comes to your dream, you got to like earn right. that thing. you got to mm-hmm. work hard all day and all night to make that thing happen. There's no skipping steps. There is no skipping steps. And you know what? We are hard workers. Mm -hmm. Women get things done. Right. But you know, the intensity that we bring to our friendships, the Mm -hmm. intensity that we bring to our day job, to all of the people that we care about, we've got to bring to our dream. I always Mm -hmm. say, put the mask on yourself before you assist other passengers. Wow. Once you've done that thing that you're supposed to do, then you can work to assist others, but we give it all away. Mm-hmm. So earn that thing that you have named and claimed, mm-hmm. and then once you get there, own it. Own it. That's that. That's this right you here. You gotta own it. Right? Because what I've seen happen is women finally get that thing that they want, Yes. and society, other people who don't want to see you do well, mm-hmm. they will take it from you. Yes, they will. They will take your joy. They will take your intensity. Mm-hmm. They will take your hopefulness. They will take your accomplishment for mm-hmm. themselves. Mm-hmm. They will say, there's no way she did that. Right. There's no way that belongs to her. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's no way. And then sometimes oh, we man. do it to ourselves, too. We do. Self-sabotage. We, do we don't want to. We don't feel we are worthy. worthy enough. But we are worthy. After we put in all the work, named yes. it and claimed it, we don't feel like we're worthy. We Once we can walk into it the- and walk in it. And it is that spirit, I think, that inspires other women yes. to say, you know what, I see her owning that thing, mm-hmm. and I'm going to do it too. Greatest yes. example of that is Oprah Winfrey, right? Yes. She even has a network called Oprah. Own. Yes. Own. Own it. <laughs> Own it. Um, so we have to own the thing that belongs yes. to us. And so I think that's the motivation I was trying to give to the women. And I really believe it is that combination of things. That's it. Mm-hmm. That it takes to achieve leadership. That's all. Yes. The rest of it, you know what? It works itself through. Yes. Right. I believe that. Yeah. So we had a woman run for president. We did. And we've seen several women in leadership positions. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that the issue now is men stepping aside mm-hmm. and letting women lead. Yeah. So tell me about how you feel about, you know, letting women be in these positions of right. power. And, and some people stepping behind, stepping to the side and say, you know, we support you. And right. we're going we're gonna to help you and encourage you and empower you to be in those positions. So, yeah. and, I, and I think that is so true for even your, your candidacy right. as mayor. Right. Is that people need to understand that. Let this woman lead. Yeah. She's qualified. Yep. She is educated. That's right. She's knowledgeable. She's been in yep. the position for six ev- years. For six years. <laughs> She's been on the um the president you're the president of the Pro Tem. Yep. I mean let this woman lead. <laughs> let her lead. Well, you know, the big thing with women is, you know, I think it's sad that still in twenty seventeen the misogyny mm-hmm. still exists. Yes. You know, there's no way she can do this. Women are excellent Excellent. Leaders. It's documented. Yes. And people say, well, she needs to wait her turn. Mm-hmm. Not, not, not yet. Not no yet. No more time. You know what? We need to stop doing that yeah. to women. Women are ready to lead. I'm ready to lead. Right. You know, when I talk about people say, well, bet you just need to wait a little longer. Well, 228 years is a long time. It's a long time. time. And it's time for, for us to allow a different type of leadership and not yes. to be afraid of that. And we do need to make sure that we uh, we encourage those who are, it's not your time, right. to step away and support. Right. You know, and I we need to make sure it's not us. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't see each other mm-hmm. the way that everyone else sees us right. too. I mean, when it, when it it's always disappointing when women tell me. You know, you need to wait. Yes. Just wait. Well, now, just You're right. get a few more years under. Right. No, I am more than qualified. Right. Ready to lead now. Yes. And so when you oh, see sorry. women, when you see women who are have named it and claimed it, who are earning it, we need to make sure we encourage those women to go and do it. And we need to create a pathway for that. Right. Let them. I like that. Let them. Lead. Let them lead. Let them lead. Let them lead. In their community. The roadblocks come. Yes. All of that. Don't do all that. Right. Yeah. Let them lead. We're ready. We're yes. ready. And I, I, one of the things I talked about earlier, I was at a, the Nefertiti Awards, and I talked a little okay. bit about it today, is 
women of color, particularly in leadership, mm -hmm. we have not only broken the glass ceiling, but we have walked through brick walls. Yes, we have. Right? So not only have we climbed and we've had to break here with mm -hmm. our sledgehammers, right. but we've literally sometimes had to create new doors where there was no door. door you got to break down some walls mm -hmm. and so you know by the time we get there it's really important for folks to be supported there are some right. people who are joking and say well that you know once you become mayor they're going to have a whole different standard for you you know it's going to be it two days in if you fix the whole city in two days right we're ready for that we're ready we're ready for that she's been doing we're it. ready to do that <laughs> we're ready to we're ready to impress yes and surprise even yes. some people and, she's and been all doing women it. leaders are ready yes for that. yes they are so I want to thank you for thank sitting you. down with me and doing this interview. And how can we support you? Tell well, us how we can do that. We need your help. The election is just 131 days away. Yes, 131 days away. The first vote will be cast 102 days from now. So go on our website, www.evettesimpson.com. We have a people-powered campaign. This mm -hmm. campaign is not run by big business, big authorities. It's not people, you know, we're not puppets. There are people who are giving their time every single day to make this happen. This is a movement, mm -hmm. and we need your time, talent, and treasure. So go to VetSimpson.com. You can make a contribution. You can volunteer. You can join us at visibility events and T-shirts mm -hmm. and join us for parades. Like yeah. you're going to join us. I'll be us there at Mount Monday. Washington Monday. My, we have a great Monday. Get those steps. Mm -hmm. Walk it out. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good thing to do. So come and join us and be a part of this yeah. movement. We love to have it. And I got to say to you, I am so happy to be a part of your dream. Thank you. I know this is a part of your dream and to support yes. you in this. Thank you so much. All right. All right. So, we guys, support each other. We will see you a little bit later. We'll finish up with the interviews and want to thank you again. Thank you. All right.